is Ramin Gill. Welcome to another episode of the 10,000 Trade Show, where we are mastering trading and creating excellence through the deliberate practice and analysis of 10,000 Trades. Today, we'll take a look at how to trade a railroad reversal setup. This type of a trade setup is a reversal pattern, so we're looking for price to move in the opposite direction of where the price has been going. So let's go on to the charts. We'll take a look at how to identify this trade setup where to place our stop loss, and as always, how to exit the trade with a profit. We're looking at Railroad Tracks trade setup. A Railroad Tracks trade setup is a combination of two candles. One would be a green candle in this case, going up, and then a reversal candle that immediately follows that candle. So in this case, this is a bearish trade setup. We see price come into the support and resistance level, and then price rejects that level. Now, railroad tracks can be a bullish or a bearish reversal signal. When we see this type of a trade setup, this is a bearish signal. If we were to see it at the bottom here with bullish candle being the second candle, that would be a bullish reversal signal. So in this case, we are looking at a Euro US dollar 15 minute chart. As we can see, price was going up, hits an important support and resistance level, and then fails to hold above this level. And we see this railroad tracks trade setup here. Once we see the candle close, we can take an entry on pullback or at the close of this candle. So we enter the trade short. Our stop goes above the high here, making sure there is room for trade to breathe. And then we stay in the trade as long as price continues lower and we can trail our stop behind previous highs here. And as we can see, price continues lower. And then we come into this next level of support and resistance where price drops sharply, but then pulls back. When we see such a long pin on, on the other side, it's best to get out of the trade right away because we could see this happen because this shows a big rejection of the level. So we exit the trade here. From entry to exit, we get 94 pips in the trade. So just to recap, a railroad tracks trade setup is formed at important support and resistance level. In this case, price was going up and then we hit this important support and resistance level. Price bounces off of that level and gives us the railroad tracks trade setup, which is formed by these two candles. We enter the trade either at the close of the candle or on the pullback here. Our stop goes above the high and we stay with the trade as long as price moves lower. Once price hits the next support and resistance level, we see that the price has trouble holding below this level here. So we see a big pin, time to exit the trade. And from entry to exit, we get 94 pips in the trade. So our profit is 94 pips or $940 when trading one standard lot. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you would like to see more great trade setups like this, I invite you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That's it for today. I will see you next time.